We're made up of over 37 trillion cells, and in each side of one of those cells is smaller cells known as mitochondria. There are 100 to 1,000 of those per cell. That's a lot of cells. All those cells require essential nutrients for everyday existence, never mind living, growing, and healing. To be exact, there's 43 essential nutrients these little cells require. When they get them, especially through food, good things happen. All those nutrients have to be supplied to the body at the same time, not one at a time. 30% of the total nutrients then actually go to the brain to fuel the brain, feed the brain. The rest of it goes to the body. That's 70% for the body, 30% for the brain. When that happens, we distribute the nutrients throughout the cellular system. We're able to create energy. We're able to allow for cellular regeneration, healing, living, growing, feeling good. That's known as a satiety state. It's the opposite of hunger. If we actually give these cells non-nutritive foods, bad things happen. We actually enter into a state of chaos. Our body remains hungry for more and more nutrients that we aren't getting from those low nutrient foods. You typically know those as processed foods. Satiety state is everything. Hunger is the bad thing. So when we enter into this phase of nutrient deficiency, all sorts of negative things happen. One, we introduce chronic aging, chaos, inflammation, all sorts of negative disease, inducing the body into a state of degeneration. Healthy cells equal cellular regeneration for the body and mind. Cell damage is exposure to disease and early cellular death. That's also known as aging rapidly. It's not what we want to experience. We want to do only good things to our body. When we do good things, such as exercise and eat right, especially the essential nutrients, we have healthy cells, healthy body, healthy mind, equaling a good, happy life. The opposite is not what you want to experience. That's cellular damage, inflammation, joint pain, rapid aging, and the nasty one, chronic disease. Moving forward, giving bad things to your body equals bad results. So for example, if we feed our stomach cells nasty things like soda, fast food, high sugar foods, we actually introduce cellular degeneration to our gastrointestinal cells. That actually can equal things such as a perforated gastrointestinal system, allowing endotoxins to escape and enter into the body. All of these have dramatic effect on our systems, including neurological, including circulatory, including pulmonary, respiratory, and including things like our insulin system and our digestive system. All of these have negative, negative impact. <laughs>